What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Crypto Kingdom 78. We're back on the Doken Super Chain, just teaching people here how to use the actual dap.doken.dev. This is a new chain, which is called Doken. I did a video on the actual BNB paired token. But then if you'd like to buy the Doken chain uh, token itself or Candy Swap, which is their version of like pancake swap. You can also buy that one that's on the Doken chain. So it'd either be the Doken on the super chain or candy swap. If you're new to Crypto Kingdom 78, check out CryptoKingdom78.com, 78YT on Telegram, and Crypto Kingdom 78 on TikTok. So we have many how-to videos coming. We have a lot of AMAs with these projects coming as well. Just in the bear market, I've just toned it down a bit just because it's real hard to pick out projects where we're going to do well with. Uh, again, not financial advice on my channel, just looking at projects that I buy. And obviously, I'm trying to make money, not lose, but you have to do your own research. I'm showing this video to show everybody how to use Doken. So um, the Doken smart chain here, you're going to go into your browser. Like I'm in the browser within MetaMask. It only works on MetaMask right now. Your first step on uh, MetaMask, you'll see that I'm in MetaMask right now, is you're going to go to Wallet. And then you're going to go up to the top where it says wallet. I'm on Binance Smart Chain. And then you're going to, to add a network. And then you're going to go to custom networks because this is one of the first things you do. I just did it in this particular order. Okay. So network name, I just put in Doken. I'm not going to hit save because I already have it. Now, there's New York, Singapore, Asia. So there's three different ones. So I just chose New York because I'm in North America, states and Canada. So that's like the best suits me. So that's HTTPS. I'm going to post all this in the telegram groups as well so if anybody wants to add these they can go ahead and add whatever one is uh, suitable to their area i think it's uk singapore and new york i could be wrong but there's three different ones the chain id remains the same so this one here would be nyrpc um dot token dot dev like this this is how it's going to look okay then the chain ID, this is what you're going to do for any chain. Like when I did the video on how to add Polygon, this is what you're going to do. This is just one of the steps. Symbol, I put in what I want in the block explorer URL. You don't really um, have to put anything in there. But I just put symbol uh, D, like DKN or Doken, I guess. You can put whatever you want. The main thing is the, the first three. Um, that's why the block explorer URL is kind of optional. So that's the RPC URL. But again, I'm going to post these all in there. So you'll see if I hit back and then go to Smart Chain, and you'll see that I added Doken successfully on here. And I do have the Doken itself, which is the Doken uh, token uh, on the Doken Super Chain. So I've already gone through the steps to do this just to make sure my steps work the way I want to do it. So the first thing you want to do is you go to browser and you go to dap.doken.dev. Now what happens is sometimes I've noticed the connect wallet comes up. I've been troubleshooting with that. Now when that comes up and you don't see your wallet address, what I do is I just go back to the URL and get rid of services and then reload the, um, like reload the URL and then there's my wallet address and this MetaMask wallet back up again. So that's how you uh, solve that issue. If you don't, if you know you're hitting connect and it's not connecting for you, just refresh the page at dot dev. Get rid of the services there. Now you can link to all their stuff down the left. Swap, pad, KYC, everything on there. Candy swap. I've done everything but candy swap. I've used the bridge and I've used the regular swap. Candy swap. You have to add uh, liquidity. So I haven't got into that. So this video is just basically how to buy the BNB pair and how to buy the actual bridge to the actual Doken itself on the Doken uh, super chain. So you're going to change this right off the bat to BSC. Again, you can use pancake swap, but for video purposes, I'm not giving pancake swap any business because enough people do already. Let's use the uh, in-house swap here. I'll show everybody what to do. Even if we don't complete it, uh, the actual swap, because I already have the token, I'm going to walk everybody through the steps here. Okay. And then you're going to go to swap. You're going to see the current market cap. Now this is the B and B paired Doken v2 so this is the one that's paired with bnb but you need this to get to the actual Doken itself okay so if you're going to do this i notice the slippage is on auto but you can modify like i do in the past where you can just go okay i have 0 0.07 bnb it's like 21 bucks worth so you can go 0 0.07 or sorry 0 point whatever and then you can just round this off to zero 
and then hit let's rock. So you could just bring this back down to zero, like decimal zero is what I'm saying, or you could just modify the price at the bottom. See right now it wants 340 BB, uh, BNB, so it's like haha funny because you don't have that. So it's like you can just go 0 0.07 or like I said, you can modify the bottom amount. So it, it's just kind of an amount that you can cover with your balance. Again, just play with these numbers until you get it. I think the best way to do it is just do it like I did before. Just get on here and modify the amount that you want to spend. It is a bit of a pain when you don't have that much BNB just for video sake. But 0 0.07, that'll just tell you that. Now, what I would do is I would just keep deleting and get to the thing. But you know what? Like, get to the zero. But you could just go to auto. Like, that's no big deal if you wanted to. So, haha, -ha, funny it's saying because I'm just spending a little bit too much. Um, again, you want to just keep modifying this to get it the way you want it. I like modifying the receiving amount. And then you see... If I go 140, uh, 9481 received, okay, now what happens is that's going to be a lot less than what I have. So I can add another zero there, and you can see it keeps moving up at the top. Now I, now it's too much, It's so I kind of just adjust it, and then you can see I can afford that, and then you'll hit Let's Rock. Okay, that'll complete like a normal transaction. You are connected to BSC in this step of the program here. So now what happens is you're going to go into their – uh, bridge this Tory bridge it's called all right now you're gonna leave it on BSC why because so if you hit max I don't have enough anyway but you're gonna hit max and then you're gonna go to start bridge then when you're done that okay you're gonna end up with the uh, Dokken itself now I'm gonna have all the contract addresses you need at least two if you're interested in candy swap okay I'm gonna put that uh, address as well but for example, right now, if we change the um, chain to Doken mainnet, this is where you're going to go back in. This is after you've bridged over, okay? And now you're on Doken. So you're, this means that you're using the non-BNB paired Doken. You're using the actual Doken super chain itself. And you can see the different options here. You're going to go swipe on the live chart, go to explore. I'm trying to just make this video as simple as possible. Anybody can hit me up with questions. And now you can see um, Doken slash Candy Swap. So if you leave it just on Doken, um, you can see I have a balance there. So I could max out the balance. Like I could just put in the balance right here. And let's put in something. And then it'll tell me how much candy I'm going to get. Candy Swap. But I could just keep Doken if I wanted to. And that's going to show the market cap right here, 300K. That is for Doken on Candy Swap. And this is like the wrap Doken, like the Doken on Candy Swap. And this is Candy Swap Doken combination. Because uh, to make it easy, this is just like BNB is how uh, BNB is with Pancake Swap, basically. Uh, you know, or BNB is with the Binance Smart Chain, I should say. So basically, that is how you use everything. So again, add the network, add the chain, and then what you want to do is you want to use the swap, but make sure you're on Binance when you use the swap. That's what you're going to do. You're going to switch to Binance, use the swap. The correct market cap will come up when you do so. You're going to see everything right here on the screen as well. You're going to see BSC up at the top. First thing you're going to do is swap your BNB for Dokken paired uh, token. And then what you're going to do is after that, you're going to go down and use the bridge still on BSC again just to recap you're going to use this bridge okay then you're going to maximum or whatever you want the BSC pair to be and then you're going to end up with regular Doken on Doken, Doken super chain then if you want to buy candy swap you take your regular Doken uh, up at the top switch it to Doken mainnet to get your regular Doken that's not BNB paired and then swap for candy swap and that's how it works and uh, that's just another look at how to use the dap.doken.dev with the Doken super chain. Any questions, let me know. I'll post all the uh, links up, Crypto Kingdom 78 yt on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped.